not Neil. Why must it be so? How can you betray physics like this? Oh, okay, okay. I take it all back. Welcome back to the Physics Almanac. Today I'm going to be reviewing another physics video. This one's called Earth's Orbit Around the Sun with Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is the second video in a set of three short videos that a friend of mine sent me, free shorts. The first one was by Texas A&M's physics department, physics and astronomy department, and it was regarding the ex it was giving an explanation to the supermoon micromoon effect and it was wrong in more than one way, in two ways. Particularly what was written in the video description was wrong. But the first way it was wrong is a personal pet peeve of mine because astronomers say it a lot. And I, I mean, I suspect, I know that's why my friend sent it to me. And given that he sent me these other, or he sent me three videos, including this one, I strongly su suspect that Neil deGrasse Tyson's gonna say the same thing. I really hope not, because I like Neil deGrasse Tyson. I hope he doesn't get it wrong, but I have a bad feeling about this. The third video, by the way, is called The Sun Actually Orbits the Earth. That one I'm really curious about. But we'll do that one next. For now, we're going to watch Earth's Orbit Around the Sun with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Before we start, please take a second to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's see what Neil deGrasse Tyson has to say. We think the moon orbits the Earth, we'd say that. That's not what actually happens. Oh, Earth and the moon comes. orbit a common center of gravity. So the moon... Oh, Neil. Neil, 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 Neil. Not Neil. Why must it be so? How can you betray physics like this? <sighs> this is exactly what was said in the other video, but the other video was wrong, also made other mistakes. <sighs> okay, astronomers say this all the time. I know why they say this, because they're used to computing from the point of view of the center of mass. But that's just a point of view. Motion is art. It's relative. There's no such thing as absolute motion or absolute rest. Who's moving and who's at rest is just a matter of point of view. From the Earth's point of view, the Earth's not orbiting anything. It's stationary. The Earth doesn't move relative to itself. So from the Earth's point of view, the moon orbits around the Earth. So yes, you can say that the moon and the Earth orbit around the center of mass, but that's from the point of view of the center of mass or possibly some other points of view as well. But you can't say that it's wrong to say that the Earth or the Moon orbits the Earth, because from the point of view of the Earth, that's exactly what happens. In fact, from the point of view of the Earth, everything orbits the Earth, because the Earth doesn't move relative to itself. It may not orbit in a nice, smooth, geometric curve like an ellipse or a circle. It may do some funny back and forth, zigzagging and wiggling around until it finally meanders its way back to the starting point, but it's going to go around the Earth, assuming it's got a periodic motion. Because the Earth's not moving. If you're on Earth, you look at the Earth, look, look at it, it's not moving. It's always in the same place. And you could do the same thing with the Moon. From the point of view of the Moon, it's not orbiting a common center of mass. It's stationary relative to itself. It just says... The Earth is orbiting around me, as is everything else. <sighs> Neil. Oh, well. Nobody's perfect, I suppose. Not even me. Believe me, I've made many a physics mistake in my life, so I'm not going to be too hard on him. Let's see where he's going with this, though. Does the heavy lifting out there, of course. But Earth does this in response to the moon. So really, the center of the Earth does not follow an ellipse. The center of the Earth does loop-de-loops around the sun. And it comes oh, okay, okay. I take it all back. It seems like he's saying from the point of view of the sun. I, I don't know if this animation is actually part of the video or if the person who spliced this video together made that animation himself. But, yeah. The, the way it's presented here, this is now clearly from the point of view of the sun. He didn't say it in the video. Maybe he did say it in the original video, but the way it's been cut, it's not in there. So I, I'm going to take, I take it back. I spoke too soon. From the point of view of the sun, what he's saying is perfectly correct. The moon, the moon does not go around the earth. You have the earth-moon system. Think of it like the earth and the moon is in a box. 
the center of mass of that box is going around the sun in ellipse. And then you zoom into the box and you see that the earth and the moon are going around the center of mass of that box, each in an ellipse. So right, so you get this loop-de-loop -loop effect. In fact, that's what would happen with any three-body system. You So for example, if you wanted to take the motion of the planets, it's exactly the same thing, except that the little ellipses of the Earth-Moon system are now much larger because the planets are far away from one another. And now the motion is quite difficult to track because it's not just a minor correction to the center of mass going around a nice, nice ellipse. You've got, from the point of view of the Earth, let's say, let's say you want to know how Jupiter is moving. Well, it would be equivalent to the sun goes around the moon, the Earth in an ellipse, and then Jupiter goes around the sun in an ellipse, and that composite motion is what, of the ellipse going around an ellipse, from the point of view of the Earth, is what the Earth sees Jupiter do. And that's quite complicated mathematically. But yeah, oh, I'm so glad Neil didn't get it wrong. What a relief. Okay, let's continue. Right on back, and so there you have your orbit. It's not even that. You know what happened? By the time it comes around, it is not in exactly the same place it was when it left orbit. Right, it's processing, which just means that the ellipse is slowly like shifting around. So it doesn't always come back to the exact same spot. The whole ellipse, it, it is an ellipse, but the whole thing's kind of shifting like this. And that's because there's other things pulling on it, like other little planets that are just nudging it a little bit, tugging in various directions, depending, depending on where all the planets are, causing this, what otherwise would be a nice, perfectly elliptical motion between the Earth-Moon system and the Sun. It's just causing it to tweak a little bit and shift. Now, also, general relativity would cause that. So this is Newtonian gravity, but it turns out that's wrong. The actual, as far as we know, correct theory of gravity is Einstein's theory of general relativity. And when you do that, you find that there's an extra little piece, a very small effect caused by general relativity that would also cause it to process. In the case of the Earth-Moon system, Earth-Moon-Sun system, I'm pretty sure that the effects from the other planets are uh, stronger effects. Because before general relativity, they knew about this and they... They corrected for all the other planets slightly tugging on the Earth-Moon system and everything matched perfectly fine. However, it didn't match for Mercury. When they did the same thing for Mercury, they found Mercury was, its orbit was shifting, was processing too much, even when you accounted for all the small corrections from the gravitational pull of all the other planets. So they thought, one theory was, there must be another planet we don't know about. Maybe it's hidden behind the sun, so we don't see it from the Earth. They called it Planet Vulcan, but it didn't work. And then Einstein came up with this theory of, theory of relativity, which had this small extra correction, and when you plugged it in, it matched perfectly with, or, with Mercury's orbit. That was actually the first indication that general relativity was correct, the first evidence for general relativity. So let's continue. A year ago, there's a mismatch. The entire system with every loop is turning around the sun. We call that precession. All of these are happening. I love how passionate he is about Earth's it. orbit around the sun. We think the moon orbits. Yeah, I, I get is it's just so fascinating. I know some people think, oh, it's not that interesting, but I just think it's so fascinating to know how exactly does everything move? And then you get it and then you realize, well, it's actually not exactly that. It's slightly different because there's an effect from that. Well, good job. I agree with everything he said. It started off apparently seemingly bad, but he caught himself up in the end. I'm going to blame this on the way it was edited. It wasn't clear from the beginning that you were saying it's from the point of view of the sun. So I don't know what the original video, how it was presented, but I mean, the actual, the name of the video is Earth's orbit around the sun. So that should have been a dead giveaway that you're taking the point of view of the sun. So well, yeah, good job, Neil deGrasse Tyson. 100% agree. In the next video, we're going to check out the sun actually orbits the Earth. So stick around for that. That sounds interesting. And if you like this video, 
Leave a comment, tell me what you think, like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can go to my Ko-fi page. There'll be a link at the end of the video. You can also find it in the video description, or you can just leave a super thanks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.